Hello and welcome to the fifth menstrual fashion. Here's the before with the after being towards the end. There are a few variations to this refashion, but I chose a basic look which should help you get started. As always, we'll start with the deconstruction first. So start by removing the pocket, collar, and the button placket. Next, turn up the hem to your desired length and pin, then press the fold and cut. This is to get rid of some of the bulk for the next step. First, decide which side of the wrap you'd like to be on the bottom. I chose the side where the pocket used to be. Next, undo a section of the shoulder seam depending on how wide you'd like the neck, then fold to form the bottom wrap and pin. Do the same for the other side. From the folds, trim the excess leaving a half inch allowance, then finish by turning the edge under twice and securing with a straight stitch. To avoid offsetting the side seams due to the wrap, take in a few inches from the center back. Once the back is done, go ahead and finish the hem turning it under twice and finishing with a straight stitch. For the back neck, first remove the excess from both sides. Then measure from one end of the yoke to the other adding a couple inches for allowance. Using the measurements, cut a one and a half inch strip from the scraps. Now fold one end of the strip and place it on one end of the yoke with right sides facing and pin. Afterwards, clip the seam allowance to allow the curve to lay flat, then go ahead and finish the neckline. Cut two 4 inch strips 60 inches or more if you'd like. For mine, I managed to get one strip from the scraps and the other from another shirt. Finish the edges by turning them under twice starting with the diagonal end. Leave the 
other end unfinished. Before attaching the ties, make an opening in the side seam at the waist, opposite the bottom row. Secure both ends of the opening to prevent the side seam from unraveling and finish the opening with a zigzag stitch. Right sides together, align one strip with the opening, placing the unfinished end to the edge of the top wrap. Afterwards, make a small pleat in the center of the strip, then pin. Do the same for the other side, then sew following the wrap stitch line. Next, turn both strips onto the seam allowance and sew as close to the edge of the wrap as you can. Turn the sleeve inward to create a short version, then pin and tack one inch sections from the fold all around. Once you're through tacking the top layer, pull at the sleeve to create another. Tack each layer as you go along until you get to the cuff. Fold the cuff tacking it to the bottom layer. That's a wrap! If you have any questions, leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching!